uh, gonna present today my work. I, I, this is some congested post robot please uh, be patient. So this is the work, this is a lot of work that has been done using nurse facility. And this work is also funded by DOE. Let me make if I can make this pointer as a laser. Yeah. So this work was supported by DOE, and I use a lot of nurse resources to calculate uh, to run these jobs. And this is thanks to them. Uh, and this is a lot of these calculations. These are big calculations. If you see, we have almost I have um, done all of the periodic table from D metals. So I will start from my um, uh, significance of my topic that what is the basic objective is to reduce CO2, um, uh, to convert CO2 into some useful or yeah, value added chemical. That can make, um, the first objective is that, uh, hard, uh, that global warming can be reduced. And second, we can uh, convert waste into uh, some useful chemical. Additionally, uh, so uh, my focus is acrylic formation of acrylic acid. This acrylic acid is very important. It is used in various industries and its market is projected to be 19.2 billion US dollars by 2030. So this is very important compound. Right now, this acrylic acid is produced using naphtha that comes from petroleum products. And it also produces a lot of carbon monoxide and other, other hydrocarbons and uh, other uh, gases that produce global warming. So if we can convert CO2 and uh, C2H for this compound from that can be derived from biogas, and we can uh, using these two chemicals, if we produce chiralic acid, that is more beneficial and more sustainable. But the, uh, currently the state of art uh, catalysts are homogeneous uh, that has problem of scalability, like we cannot uh, make them scalable to the industrial level. So we need heterogeneous catalysts or solid catalysts so I studied uh, using DFT, uh, this uh, solid, I propose some catalyst in which uh, we, that is those, those are MFI zeolite. I deposited I, uh, these metal centers in this MFI zeolite and I run reaction mechanism using uh, this scheme. So I will not go to much detail in this scheme because this is for the general ideas, but I used uh, these metal centers in this MFI zeolite and I screen around these 22 catalysts and I found that eight of them have some potential in application in the catalyst. So if we see the from the PR table, we see here scandium, deuterium, chromium, mag and manganese family. Those are potential catalysts that can be used for the conversion of carbon dioxide and ethanol ethylene to the acrylic acid. And I further refined my calculation using um, uh, the calculation of this very important step, that's beta hydride transfer. And uh, based on this uh, efficiency, uh, the, this free energy profile, I found that molybdenum is the best in those catalysts and rhenium is the worst among these eight catalysts that I uh, that those are potentials. And additionally, um, uh, in computational studies, we have, um, we have to provide some insight because uh, we cannot claim that our computational studies are 100% predictive, but we can predict that there are some trends or something that controls the activity of the catalyst. And we found that electronegativity of metal atom, electronegativity of these metal atoms, it determines a very important role in the efficiency of the catalyst. And based on this, we uh, con I conclude that uh, molybdenum in MFI zeolite in this system has very low potential, uh, very low energy profile, and it can be possible catalyst for the future uh, conversion of carbon dioxide into ethylene. And another three catalysts that contain scandium, ethereum, molybdenum, and manganese, those four catalysts can be uh, with little with optimum efficiency. Some of them have high, uh, lower efficiency, but the beauty of this work is this is a heterogeneous system and if it works, it can be employed at industrial level. And this is the work for today. But I, again, I thanks to you guys uh, and nurse facility and this meeting that uh, provided me opportunity to present this work. And if you have any questions, you can send me an email. And I'm oh, Great, sorry. thank you so much. <laughs>